of the people actually here, we had served them, but we shall serve the notice of hearing. Right. The notice of hearing for the mention tomorrow at night. I thought my Lord Chen would have been in here. Because by the time I go to my office, there will be no opportunity to do some of these things. Or you know, probably that. You know, by the, the time we spend here, it means that even if you come at 10, you find us here. But at what time then do we come tomorrow? The course starts at 9. Yes. You can come at 11. Yeah, most of them. Yes. My Lord, I am asking, please, in this particular file, that you record my presence together with the other lawyers I mentioned earlier as appearing for the deputy president with the second respondent. This one? Yes. The verified? Yes. But you didn't stand up with the committee. I thought you were not here. No, no, no. no, 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 no Patiently wait. This, this matter of uh, 570. Yes. If you look at the parties, the deputy president is the second okay. Okay. So you agree with the directions which you have given? I accept directions. Of you. And I will be here tomorrow at 11. Inshallah. That is your lordship. In this particular matter. Yes, yes. The same matter? Yes. 570? Yes, my name is Manzo. I'd wish to go on record for the first interested party. Uh, your Lordship, uh, my lady, may I be placed on record for the second and the fourth interested party. And permit me to only indicate the implication of the orders of the impalement that were issued by the judge who directed the Chief Justice does impanel you. To the best of my thinking and knowledge is that the prayer was granted as it is for the impalement of Five bench. Five bench. Five judge bench. Mr. Jerry. Jero. Jero. Jero, yes. The one Jero. We speak from the record. <laughs> you had me mention the parties. I said that this file has been empaneled to comprise the Honorable Mr. Justice Eric Ogola, the Honorable Mr. Justice Morima, the Honorable Dr. Judge Freda Gandhi, I think that's very clear. We are only three. That, that's correct, but uh, okay, I will address you tomorrow on that issue. Yes. Okay. My Lord, my lady. So we mentioned it tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Jir, Jir, you say you come to, for which practice? Your Lordship, I appear for the second and the fourth interested party. Thank you. My Lord, uh, if I may make a request. My Lord, there is a file that is live before. Uh, and that is petition number 565 of 2024. We have requested, my Lord, that you give directions in respect of the applications in that matter. Because this process of taking quorum might take some time. No, 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 and there are three cohorts of files that are before you. And if I may just be given a moment to explain myself. As the court has correctly identified, there is a cohort of files that are consolidated in Petition 522. There is a cohort of files that is consolidated around Petition 565, which have the two applications that the court has identified as cited. And then there are these others that have been referred to the court by virtue of the email that we have all seen today. It is my request that the court keeps them in those cohorts so that the applications are able to be dealt with because they are identical. These are important, but the applications are identical. And the court has identified that identity because this will go on for two or three hours without any directions having been given in 565. A lot could we be on board together? We are being made orphans the state is in the bedroom. Let us also be in the bedroom so that we can respond. Mr. Man, what do you want to do in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> we, 
we will discuss the instructions of our plan. Can we allow the parties to come on record? Yes, Mr. Nyamoji, the reason why we are mentioning these matters is to find out if any of them would be right for consolidation with the matter which is here so that we don't duplicate. Thank you, my lord. My lord, as you consider that, let me put it on record that if you are considering whether they are right for consolidation, the consolidation should not then slow down the hearing of the application that you have already identified as that. If they are to come on board, they come on board and proceed from where we are. No, no, no. Let us be on board first. We respond to you appropriately. Yes. Okay. Allow us to then let's get some of Give me the next. To be on record. My, 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 my lady and my lord, His Excellency, I, I just have a, a passionate plea to make. There are not many pleas. Well, the first plea is this. Could we consider utilizing the ceremonial uh, court on the ground floor? because it is spacious and sufficient to hold all of us. That's number one. Number two, my request is this. The court has all the petitions. Why can't the assistance to the court enumerate the parties there in the quorum, in the manner we used to do in the Court of Appeal before? So that when we appear here, at whatever time we indicate, we'll just fill our respective names and the courts will be able to deal with the matter without the need of this back and forth. Number three, my lords and my lady, I think the court needs to just be a little bit proactive. When you retreat, you may make two decisions. One, either to determine the interlocutory applications, in which case you can frame issues for the parties to submit on. Or two, if you're minded to hear the petitions themselves, then still frame the issues and for it to us so that we are able to make progress. That way we'll make good use of the initial time that is very limited in respect of this matter. I beseech you more. Thank you, Mr. Harvey. Well taken. Uh, as, as, as a former chairman of the House of Science, um, let me say call the first issue and plead that if only for the purposes of everybody getting sufficient oxygen because <laughs> we are too crowded and the people want to listen in the media and the members of the public if it is possible let us use the ceremonial call okay. uh, Senior Council we will use the ceremonial call as from tomorrow thank you and uh, the Mutunga rules applies since the Mutunga rules applies the applications of the Mutunga rules was everybody was supposed to respond even to the petition to get the matters rolling. There have been no compliance with Mutunga rules for purposes of the respondent. So that if anybody was to be accused of any delay, it would be somebody who has not complied with the Mutunga rules. That is issue number one. Issue number two, my lord, was this that even for purposes of consolidation, the consolidated matters, some of the advocates led by my, my colleague, Mrs. Ms. Kimoho, they, have not, they were not even served with the applications that the, rest, that the respondents are itching to have them disposed of. So that, my Lord, because of that mess that was created as of yesterday, and the fact that we do have now a notice talking about these matters. The truth of the matter is, unless we have a situation where some of the advocates in the four matters that were not there yesterday have not even been served with this notice, and I know them, so that unless now we take a fresh date without somebody waiting to say that, oh, this court must discharge orders and we have a swearing in over the weekend, the truth of the matter is, we need a clear date where the court ensures everybody who ought to be before you, particularly based on these issues that uh, has been raised courtesy of correspondence with the Chief Justice, is addressed. But somebody to pretend, oh, I want to lift the conservatory order and the other side is delaying, it is unfair. We want the petition heard and it starts with compliance with the Mutunga rules, which there is no compliance whatsoever by the respondents. 
So that, my Lord, I beg you that let us not appear now to be saying, oh, somebody is playing to the gallery. Nobody is playing to the gallery. We just want to assert everybody's rights. And these rights are very easy to enforce if the Mutunga rules are going to guide these proceedings. My Lord, I beg you to have the enforcement of that. Your Lordship, I, uh, I had... Uh... I have just wanted to highlight the content of the notice which you received. I think uh, uh, we will we'll we'll talk about the notice. Uh, I think we will talk about the notice. We will talk about that notice before you speak. My Lord, there is a permission to address the court. And even if the court wants to talk, you don't have the court to talk. Uh, Dr. Kamima, let me address the issue. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I think we have made it uh, very clear in the ruling which I just delivered that the matters before this court are very important to the people of this republic. And you will appreciate that uh, petitions are still being filed throughout Kenya. When we retired yesterday, we received several abandonment of matters which, of which we gave this notice. Therefore, don't think you are the only person who are in these petitions. There are also other Kenyans who are coming day in, night out. So the matters which you set out for mention are the matters in which we have been abandoned as from yesterday. So you wait for God to give directions, then you start talking. You cannot just start talking from the air without facts. Let us mention these files first. Then from there, you will see the directors emerging, and then you can make your prayers. Let's mention these files first. <laughs> and um, uh, the, that first clarification is that uh, we have two cohorts of petitions which have been consolidated. The first cohort were the petitions which were filed to challenge the processes both in parliament, in parliament, yes. And uh, during that time, this bench consolidated six petitions, with the lead petition being 522 of 2024. Is that correct? Yes. That petition, number 522 of 2024, is the lead file in the petitions which were filed before the finalization of the matters in the Senate. Then, after the proceedings in the Senate, other petitions were filed. And with you, we consolidated all those petitions yesterday. So we have two running parallel petitions before the Senate proceedings and after the Senate proceedings. You will remember that uh, petition number 522 was we uh, listed it for a mention on 29th of this month. But because of, uh, of, of need to know, because I know there could be cross-cutting representation in these petitions, we decided just to call it because we knew that all of you would be here so that if there's anything you want to say on those petitions, you can say it. So that's the reason why we have petition 522 here for a mention. There's nothing to be mentioned, but we say it since parties are likely to be here, and some of the parties were even asking for it yesterday, so we brought it. But the other petitions to be mentioned are specific petitions where we have been paneled. And we wanted to find out the way forward, whether we can uh, consolidate these petitions, or whether they can be done separately. So these are petitions number, uh, let's mention petition number 570 of 2024, AD by Guru and Victor Gatia. Yes, this petition. Yes. My daughter.
Just just a week. Petition. This one was filed by the law firm of um, I, I believe Mutembe and uh, Maret is called what? Mutembe Ishuru and Company Advocates. I am aware of uh, this petition for the simple reason that uh, he had requested me that when it comes to the hearing, I appear alongside him. Yes, yes. Uh, Lord, the parties are many, starting with the first respondent, I think is President Ruto. Riga Bigashago is the second respondent, and there are others. Lord, uh, for purposes of uh, this petition, it was filed after the after fri on Friday. And by the Atimamuye, we it to the owner of the Chief Justice, and we expected it to be coming tomorrow on Thursday. My Lord, Mr. Mutembe is not, was not served with this particular notice that is before you. Actually, nobody was served. We sent out the notice uh, in the morning today because yes. we received them in the morning. In the morning. That's why I said that this matter is still coming. Yes. And because the the representation is likely to be across. We yes. mentioned them because we thought we would find people like you waiting yes. for them. Waiting for them, yeah. Yes. So, 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 so that, my lord, in that case, huh, what I would uh, ask the court, and for the additional reason that I am aware that uh, in that matter, the notice of motion is seeking a five judge bench, and particularly for the reason that. This is an application by the citizens of central Kenya who says, like in the year 2013, that their rights, not just regarding Ashagua, would be have been affected adversely by the impeachment of deputy, the deputy president Gashagua. And therefore, I would ask that this matter do come tomorrow so that the issue on that issues of empanelment and in the presence of Mr. Mutembe can be dealt with. Because now that it is obvious that even the direct, like the, the advocates who file the case are not here, it would only be fair that there is another mention where they can also be there. Actually, we didn't even have the file. We are just looking at it from our record. But that is the position as far as 570 is concerned. There's a specific application for a five judge bench in that matter. Uh, um, yes, yes, yes. Mr. Mr. Kibbe, yes, my lord. Uh, we are beyond that. There was a request on a five judge bench, yes, my lord. But uh, what has been in panel is a three judge bench, yes, comprising Justice El Kugola, Justice um, Mrima, and Honorable Dr. Justice Freda Gandhi. So the request. For a five year bench, I think it's overtaken by events until unless she wants to appeal. Yes. The chances of appeal are very high. In this <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for the simple reasons, my lord, uh, that will become apparent. I believe uh, there must be some mechanical applications to the issues, uh, but now that it arises specifically, that issue will be addressed and the Chief Justice would have the relevant communications tomorrow morning. Why, given the nature of the issue that must be dealt with, there must be a five judge matter. The, the, all benches could be, can be expanded. I believe that is the position that we are coming from. So, without saying specifically that we don't want anyone, all benches are capable of being expansion, particularly bearing in mind. And this is something that uh, a number of the clients that already we are representing, yeah, there have been repeated insinuations by our people out there, including senior counsel Abel Nasir Abdullahi, that the senior bench is supposed, the judge bench is supposed to do this or the other. 
We can't help that. This is not coming so what, from what we'll do, we'll, what we'll do in some way is that um, we'll mention this matter tomorrow. <coughs> I'll appreciate what time allowed. At nine. Most of light. Because it was a